My width is very faint, thank you. Nothing a little bergamot, rosemary, and a hint of aged brown. It's the perfect olfactory disguise for a corpse. Honestly, I must my calling as a perfumer. You've clearly thought this through. You do not have an appointment. What possible reason could you have to enter the presence of Mystic Carrion? That depends on what torments you. Love, vengeance, regret. The dead can be put to all sorts of purposes in the hands of one adept of their manipulation. I am a spirit, Medium. One who wanders the hazy boundaries of mortality, bearing the intentions of the living and the knowledge of You do not possess the aptitude to attempt such a journey. Nor are you the caliber of client I would usually offer to escort. Only a very select few, taken from the highest reaches of society. I find them to be far more appreciative of my services than the average mourner and far more generous in paying for them. Whatever the customer desires, or at least whatever they can afford. Each brings their own desperation. Some crave a word of solace. Some wish to see, to summon, to torment. I provide for them all, according to their merit. You are not deserving of such a gift. Unless you've some other purpose here, our consultation is at an end. Unless, of course, you are looking for a job. Some spiritual materials, though not much within reach of your purse, I fear. Again, you disturb me. My client list is full. And you are not on it. Mm. Yes. My spirits stir. They think you might be capable. Very well. You may help me with a small matter. I have an assistant, Thrombo. A conduit I used to maintain my connections with the ethereal plane. Unfortunately, he has deserted his duties. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrombo's body to me, and I will see that you are suitably compensated. My child, that would be asking the impossible. He is already dead. He is... What do they call them here? Ah, a zombie. A waif I rescued from the jaws of death and gave a second chance at earthly purpose. If he does not value the gift I gave in reanimating that wretched flesh of his, then I will take it back. It is my property, not his. Had 
I thought you were the type to shout his name from the rooftops, I would never have offered you the job. Thrumbo is not alone in his ingratitude. He has led others in my service astray. Three of them, beggars and zombies alike. The others lack even Thrombo's modicum of intelligence. It should be no great task to wring his location from one of them. Then, with the spirits herein our witnesses, the arrangement is made. They will follow your progress with great interest. As will I. And what would Carrion be doing down in the ruins under the city? stench is unmistakable. Death, decay, despair. This must be Thrumbo, the runaway mystic carrion was so eager for you to retrieve. This is my spot. Go on, find your own. Mystic carrion. You're working for him. Oh no. No, no. I knew he wouldn't let us leave in peace. You don't have to help him. He's the one you should be after, not me. I don't understand. We're nothing to him. Nothing to anyone. He never stopped telling us that. I wasn't doing any harm. Just trying to beg a few coin to get by and he... He murdered me. Murdered my friends. And made us into these things. Monsters. Fit for gutting and, and grinding and, and desecrating the dead. He constantly abuses us. Makes us do the, the worst things you can imagine. There used to be five of us. My friend Dallas, he couldn't take it anymore. One day, I saw him drive a coffin nail right through Carrion's skull. Then another, and another. We thought he had done it. Freed us all. Then when dawn came, Talus seized up suddenly like something had got a grip of him. We ran to help, but he just exploded. I got so much blood and, and pulp in my eyes. When I look back, Carrion was just stood there, completely unharmed. We'd have to stop him resurrecting somehow. But I don't know how. Since Talus died, I've been watching Carrion, trying to figure out his secret and I think, I think he's a mummy lord. It's an ancient evil being who refused to die, who cannot die. I used to hear about them in stories and I can't think of another explanation. After Talus died, Carrion blindfolded me and took me into a strange place. A foul and ancient place. Somewhere the living wouldn't dare to tread. Down there, he showed me a jar. Said it contained the secret to eternal life. And if I behaved, he would share it with me. I, I think it was his heart. I'm not stupid. I know what he did to my friend. Gods, how I'd love to smash that bastard jar. That's how you kill mummy lords, you know. 
I'm not sure. But in the house, beneath Carrion's salon, there's a chamber. He never lets anyone down there, so it must be hiding something important. Perhaps it's there. But be careful if you return to Carrion. He'll know you spoke to me. Make sure he doesn't see or smell you. He'll turn you into one of us, and he'll know I sent you. I don't want to die like Talis did. I want to live. Well, you know what I mean. No matter. This is still the safest place to hide. It's just bad luck I was discovered. I must be patient. My brothers need me. Sharp as ever. Open up. What's happening with that body? But it looks very creative. Dashed his canopic jar inside a zombie. <laughs> the clever boy. Mind if I do? You came back. Please, tell me you found a way to destroy Mystic Carrion. What? His rotten heart was inside of me this whole time. Get it out. I have to get it out. Bastard! 
He hid it in me the whole time. Please, take that foul thing and grind it to dust. brings with him the stench of Thrumbo's disobedience. Hand his carcass to me. Quickly. This is your preferred course. To change the terms of our arrangement now that you feel you have the upper hand. I manipulate one who makes the dead dance from his fingertips. I can offer a small bonus payment for services so capably rendered. With this and the torch, my debt is amply paid. Such a tenacious spirit you possess. I do look forward to meeting it again. Have we more business in this life? Can it not wait until the next? most efficiently performed and what do you deserve I wonder for meeting out such justice yes of course a torch of revocation fitting for one so adept at tracking down wayward souls with that my debt to you is settled should you need any further consultations, you will, of course, have to pay for them. You. Have we more business in this life? Can it not wait until the next?
the death. you know. You did it. He's gone. He's really gone. I don't know how to thank you. We can finally be free. Here. Please take this. I think it's valuable. And I will need it. Not now, Carrion's gone. Yes. I think I'll pick up where Carrion left off. A city like this needs a medium. Why not? Think Carrion's corpse would make a good punching bag? I told you we'd be safe, brothers. This is our home now. I will get a bedroom of my own now. I can keep lovely things in it for when sister can visit. has depth and meaning. This painter really took the lesson to heart. Take the piece. 
piggy bank, bitch! Burn her! Portrait is ice cold to the touch, filling you with a sense of overwhelming dread. Why is the woman smiling? Darling, listen to me. You brought me here. You did this. Do not interfere. He's coming home with me. Another one who wants to control me. He called me here. Trapped me little childish boy I only wished to explain myself to make you see how no enough of your whining enough selfish arrogant bastard of an artist I wanted to be left in peace and how does that help me or is it just to help him? Why does everything always have to revolve around Oscar Feveras? Oh, my sweet Carrie. What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal play. to confuse me it's so hard to think I don't remember Kerry my sweet meat I, I just need to know that what you did that it wasn't my fault why am I here I shouldn't be here I shouldn't be the spirit's aura flickers changes she is confused lost Dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. Fine. If Oscar wants the truth. He can have it. We were a fling, nothing more. My decision had nothing to do with him. I did this because I was so fucking sad. All the time. Oscar finds it easier to imagine a world where women kill themselves over him than one where they have their own bloody problems. I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea, but I, I was truly not to blame. No, you weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me. We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. Gods, what a mess I've made of it all. My sweet Ferelia. I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you'd come to me sooner. I... I'd like to stay. I confess, I never felt ours was a marriage of substance. I rather thought you just liked me for my art. Throughout my ordeal, I saw how tenderly you cared for me. Even at my worst, you never left my side. Truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm so sorry, my darling. 
Please, before you go, I must pay you back. Come upstairs to my atelier. I promise you'll leave with something priceless. Immortality. Time for a turn. So, first you save my husband, then you save our marriage. I can't tell you how grateful I am. I'm afraid when one falls in love with an artist, such drama comes with the territory. Needless to say, Oscar won't be having anything more to do with the supernatural. One possession is quite enough for any marriage. You must take up his offer. Go to his atelier, sit for him. Then perhaps you will understand what I see in him, flawed as he is. Here he is, the hero of the hour! Brushes are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, shall we begin? Wonderful. Stand yourself just there. And... And voila! <sighs> All it needs now is a name. Something to... Capture the spirit in which it was created. Heroic and modest, then this shall be simply the hero of Baldur's Gate. A title I don't doubt you'll earn in due course. Please, take it in for a moment. It's not every day one's face is preserved for posterity.